mind holds on to painful memories for a reason, trying to keep us from making the same mistakes over and over. Some say if you go back to where a painful memory started, look at the place, walk through it, you can get free of the hurt and forget. Maybe I thought that would happen. I'll tell you, though, it would have been all right with me if I never saw this town again. But it was the only teaching job I could get, and I needed it, and I took it. Oh, Jim, it's lovely. Pretty good, huh? Looks boring. Oh, come on, you're gonna love it. It's much better than Chicago. Of course, things had changed, but not much considering the years that had passed. No, not nearly enough to keep my heart from tightening, to keep me from forgetting that this was the town where my brother had died, the same town my parents fled in fear and grief when I was nine. The same. Only the faces had changed. Sixteen forty-seven, right? Mm -hmm. You sure? Sixteen forty-seven, Highland. Okay. Hey, we're on the sidewalks. That's the least of our problems. We don't have to stay. I'll go back to house painting. I can start with the shack right here. No way. You are not a house painter anymore. I might not be much of a teacher either, you know. You get a little rusty after this You'll layoff. You'll be fine. Yeah. It's just like riding a bike. Well, you never give up on me, do you? Nope. Never. Okay, two guys with a truck. Come on, let's unload this van. <laughs> Scott could tell that Sally and I were afraid. How many years had I worked, and what did we have to show for it? I wanted to provide for him, not put him in danger. Night, Mom. Sleep well. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh. Good night, kiddo. Night, Dad. Good night. Oh, um, what do you think, on or off? Off. Sure? way of breaking in a new house. <laughs> I have to establish my territory. Mm -hmm. If I had known the horror we were facing, I would have taken Sally and Scott in my arms like my parents took me and run from this town forever. I hear this new teacher threw some kid out a window in Chicago. Oh, man. Ran him over with his car. No, no, that's not what happened. The guy got fired because he went berserk in class. He picked up a chair and threw... Uh -huh. Oh. My fifth class today. I'm a little out of shape. Thank God you're seniors. You'll have mercy on me, I hope. <laughs> so I'll do my best to keep you awake. You'd rather sleep. <laughs> well, I can tell this is not love at first sight. But you gotta live with me, and I gotta live with you, so... Let's try and enjoy it, okay? <coughs> May I? There's something you should know about this class. Um, do you have a name? Yeah. <laughs> do you want to tell it to me? Chip Conway. Or the Chipster, depending on how close you get. <laughs> now, um, you see Mr. Jim, sir? There's a uh, little... Hold it. It's Mr. Norman or just Jim? Yeah, that's what I said. Um, this, um, this isn't a real class. You see, most of us in here are on the football team. It's a special class for jocks like me and... Um, Airhead chicks. Uh, like Kate. 
I'm not an airhead. Oh, yeah, right. Now, let us cruise, and we'll win you a championship. Pass us, and you'll have one happy squad of killer stompers. Yeah. 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 You'll pass if you do the work. Pass us anyway. Really, don't be sorry. I want to apologize for the jerks in this class. Some of us really want to learn stuff. Thank you, uh, Kate. Thank you. Um, but I, I do want to apologize. Um, I'm just, I'm a little rusty at this teaching, and uh, I won't be breaking any more sticks. I kind of liked it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, Mr. Smith, this guy's coming down really hard on us. We've got a bigger responsibility to do this. Mr. Norman. Ah, well, sir. So, how was your first day? Well, yeah, it was fine, sir. It was fine. Good. If you have a minute, I'd uh, like to have a quick chat. Sure. In my office. In 27 years, no one had moved in after my parents and I left. What was it about this house that kept them away? Bohemian sort of way. <laughs> we went to a thrift store. Don't tell him that, Scott. Mm. I spent a tiny bit of Christmas money. But it's nice, isn't it? It's great. And look, I got this. It's an antique. Wait a minute, I'll show you the rest. <laughs> I saw the perfect place downtown today. Honey, this isn't Chicago. There is no downtown here. <laughs> well, you know what I mean, over there in the center of town. Mm -hmm. It's a vacant storefront. It's perfect for the shop. It sounds great. And I've decided. I'm not going to do just flowers. I think in a place like this, you can't be so specific. Are you okay? Yes, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm really excited about this place. I think it's a perfect location. Can I have my train back? Yep. Yeah, you know, why don't you go get the mitts? We'll play some ball. So how was work? It was all right. The uh, principal called me into his office today and said he didn't want a Chicago incident here. And I should watch my anger. I thought you cleared that up at the first interview. Well, I think he just wants me to know he's watching. And the students seem to know, too. I hope the stories don't get out of hand. Come on, Dad! Coming! We won't be long. Yeah, well, don't be long. I mean, dinner's almost ready.
Sally? Sally. Jimmy? Hey. Hey, what's eating you? Why can't I go to the library with you? Who said you can? Mom. Yeah? Well, I just talked to Mom and I worked everything out. You want to go, you can go. But you got to carry my books. Okay. You and me, Jimmy, we're always going to stick together. I gotta pay my library fine, so I'm gonna need your help. How much? It's three times two times two. It's twelve. You're the one who's got the brains in this family. Can you jump? Sure, it's faster. Come on. No. Wayne! Don't! Don't! You're blocking the road. Sissy's with books. Read me a story, Sissy. Tunnel kid, I'm gonna have to pay. 
we'll go back. We'll go back. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No other way except our way. Right, Vinny? So give us some money. Leave us alone. Hey, look, new sneakers. Let's see if they can fly. <laughs> money you got? Twelve cents. Leave my brother alone. Vinny, give this little baby away from me before I smack him. <laughs> Nobody hits me in this, man. Huh? Hey, come on, guys. What? Run, Jimmy, run! Run, Jimmy, run! Served it, man. You had that coming. He had it coming! What about him? What if you tell somebody? Come here, kid. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I don't have the keys! Let's go! Let's go! Wait! Get help. Get the head. Run! Find the keys! Find the keys! Let's go! Hey, kid! Jim, are you all right? Yeah. I thought I heard a child crying. It was, um, it was me. Why don't you come on inside? I'll fix you a cup of coffee. Yeah. In a minute. He suspended me. Well, maybe the message will get through to you, Chip. You get an F on your midterm, the coach is going to cut you from the if team. If you give me one more F, I swear to God, I want to go. Hey, hey, hey. Chip, I played football, too, and I did my schoolwork. Now, you're a smart guy. You want to play? Just do the work. Get 
You're dead, man. Chip talking. You look pretty mad. Oh no, no, we uh, we're just talking. What is it? I don't know, Mr. Norman, <laughs> Jim. <laughs> you know how you're saying that history repeats itself. Well, I've been thinking a lot about that. And that really bothers me. Well, why is that? I don't know. I, does it have to be the same story repeated over again? I mean, can't we change anything? Well, people can change things. I, I think that's what makes a person great, is the guts and the ability to change the patterns. I was listening to that Dust in the Wind song last night. Uh, I don't know. I just don't want to end up a piece of dust in someone's eye, you know? Well, I don't think that's all you'll be, Billy. Because you're learning how to think. That's a good sign. <laughs> well, hey. Do I get extra credit for thinking? You have a new student, period seven, name's Lawson, Richard Lawson. He's a transfer from Milford. You have the room, unfortunately. He can take Billy Stern's seat. Mr. Simmons, Billy Stearns was murdered. I saw it. That car ran him off the road. No one there saw any other car but yours. Just yours. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, guys, let's sit down. Chip, take a seat. 
What's that, an order? No, it's a suggestion. You can take a seat or you can go talk to the coach about it. Okay. Let's sit down. Heather, I haven't forgotten that report you owe me. Okay, all right. Are you Richard Lawson? Live and in person, Mr. Norman. Just came up from Milford. Real glad to be here, sir. Uh, one thing you have to know in my class, no cigarettes. No problem, Mr. Norman. Wouldn't want to do anything to upset you, sir. Uh, take a seat. I can't wait for you to start teaching me, Mr. Norman. I hunger for knowledge. Um, I know we're all pretty upset about Billy Stern's death. So, if, uh, if any of you have anything you want to talk about or say, now's the time to do it. Mr. Lawson. Why do you keep staring at me, Mr. Norman? I wasn't staring at you, Mr. Lawson. Oh, yes, you were, Mr. Norman. You were looking right at me. I was not staring at you. Well, maybe you were unaware of it, sir, but my old man used to... All right, me. look. That's enough. You want to talk about this more? We'll go down to the principal's office, okay? Yeah, I'm cool. But don't let them upset you, Mr. Norman. They're idiots. Thanks, Kate. Um, now, does anybody else have anything they want to say about Billy? <coughs> if not, we'll go on with history. Last time we were talking about the Middle East. And we were talking about Iraq. And <laughs> Whoever threw this. I want everybody here to know I think you're nothing but a coward. You're a chicken. Why don't you throw something at me while I'm looking, huh? Throw it to my face! Come on, somebody, throw it! Now! I'll uh, <clears throat> take the class over for a while. You take a break. It's okay. Mr. I said take a break, Mr. Norman. Stuff about Billy's death brought up a lot of feelings about Wayne. I'm just trying not to let it get to me. I think you're doing great. I'm proud of you. Thanks. Hmm. Now, where's Scotty? Wasn't he supposed to meet us here? Look! Which 
you get those? I fell off that pole. I used to have shoes like this when I was a kid. Can I keep them? I don't know. They probably belong to someone. What do you think? Yeah, they, they probably belong to somebody. But I found them. I'll be up in just a minute. I want to see if he gets the girl. You and me, Jimmy. We're always gonna stick together. How much? Three. We're always gonna stick times together. Nobody gets stick together. Stick together. Stick together. Stick together. Hey, Jimmy, <laughs> man! I was just taking a little walk. Maybe I'd ask you the same thing. Oh, well, I, I was just taking a walk, too. My, oh. my mom has a friend over, and we don't really get along. I was just on my way back. Well, I'll walk with you. Oh, no, no, that's really fine. I, I, I just live above the cleaners over there, so... So, yeah, see ya. Uh, Katie, you know, that old train, does it still run through here? Train? Well, I've never seen a train, and I grew up here. I guess there used to be one. Oh, well, be careful, huh? Hey, it's not like I'm lost in the woods or nothing. I'll see you tomorrow, Mr. Norman.
you all right? It's just a dream. It's a dream. Oh, God, it's just a dream. Oh. Promise me you'll come back to bed. You haven't slept hardly at all lately. I sleep, I dream. I don't want to dream! I'm sorry. It's starting again, isn't it? Dad, are you okay? Your father just had a nightmare. Come on, let's go back to bed. Scotty, you can't all be jerks. You must like at least one of them. No, they're all mean. I don't like them. Mean all the other kids. Hey, that's enough sugar. Daddy does it. Hey, hey, come on. Don't tell on your old man. Where'd you go last night? Nowhere, just uh, walking around. So you never went back to sleep? No. Maybe we should consider not staying here. What are you talking about? No, Jim, I'm not blind. I can't help it. I'm concerned about you. I don't want... things to start happening again. Maybe we should just pack up and leave. We're going back home? We're not going anywhere. Now, eat your breakfast. Do I have anything to say about anything? Oh, yeah. I just I want to be happy. Coming here was going to be a new beginning, not another. Not another what? Great, great. I gotta get to school. seats after you finish your test. Okay, I'm giving this Norman guy another 15, but I think he's got us on a wild goose chase. Anything? Okay, I'm calling it. Okay, boys. Bring it back in. Everybody check in now. Come on. Come on, Mr. Norman. We're gonna break for dinner. We'll get back at it later. Wait a minute. Is there a, a barn around here somewhere? Well, yeah. The old Phelps place is over there across that creek.
these incidents tend to cluster. One suicide triggers destructive behavior in other troubled young people. I can tell you, it will be the simple things you do that count. Trust your instincts. If someone seems like they're in trouble, they probably are. Reach out. Connect with them. Refer all problems to Dr. Bernardi. Otherwise, keep everything smooth and normal. Come on, we have two dead children here. Things aren't smooth or normal, are they? And Kate's death wasn't suicide. She was murdered. Oh, Mr. Norman. Mr. Norman. What makes you think Kate's death wasn't a suicide? I just know. I know both these kids were in your class. Were you close? Yes, I liked them both, and neither one of them was suicidal. It's a matter of record. You've had some emotional problems in the past. I was just wondering how you're handling this. What are you getting at? I counsel faculty as well as students. If you'd like to meet in a confidential setting, what if it's bizarre? Bizarre in what way? I have a class to get to, excuse me. Uh, Who are you? You don't belong in this class. <coughs> I do now. I'm a transfer from Milford. You don't mind if I sit in this empty desk, do you? Hey, wait a minute. That's, that's Kate's old seat. Yeah. He doesn't know that. Or maybe he does. You got a problem with that, Jimmy? I mean, Mr. Norman? <laughs> you want to give that to me? Oh, I'd love to give it to you. Almost through. There's a boy at the door. He says he's one of your students. <laughs> Did you keep the door locked? Yes. Okay. I'll handle this. Who's here? You get back to your room. Go on now. What are you doing here? Mr. Norman, I'm not here to give you a bad time, okay? There's something I have to tell you. Okay. What is it? If they do anything, 
You gotta know that I wasn't in on it. I mean, those guys, Mr. Norman, those guys are seriously crazy. Lawson and Vincent? I went out with him tonight, had a few beers. You know, and I, I started talking about how you were flunking me and how I was going to get you and everything. What happened? They took me right up on it. They said they knew you a long time ago and they were going to get even. They hate you, Mr. Norman. Chip, do you think they killed Billy and Kate? Do you? Then you have to say so. You have to tell the police. They find out I've been talking to you. They, they won't know anything. Don't you see? I'm not going back to school tomorrow. I've got a brother in Kansas City. We've got to stop these guys. It's not my fight. I'm just a jock. I'm sorry. Chip. Keep running from them. Chip! Chip! Get back in the house! Chief Pappas. I was wondering if I could have a few words with your husband. Thank God they grabbed one of my students. You gotta stop him. You uh, wouldn't mind coming down to the station with me, would you? Chip, he just came up from down south. After you're gone, he's going to take your seat in class. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a nice talk with Jimmy, Chip? What'd you talk about, hmm? Did you talk about us? You could have a fun ride, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> now, would you listen to me? There's this kid, Chip Conway, and if we don't help him, he is gonna die. Those punks have him in their car, and they're gonna kill him like they killed Billy and like they killed Kate. I know. Okay, sir, I know. I'll try. You said that. Liberty See? Hello. Well, you seem to know an awful lot about stuff that nobody could possibly know anything about. Like, um, finding the girl in the barn. Okay. Like, just happening to be on hand when Billy Stearns was killed. So you tell me, what I'm supposed to think. I don't know what you're supposed to think. All I know is my family's in danger. From who? Your students? Yes. God damn it! You charged me with murder, you let me go. You sit down. Am I driving to scare you, Chip? Well, he's a tough man. He ain't scared anything. Still not scared, huh? No, no, you're cool as a corpse, right, Chippy? Hello, boys. 
What's it gonna take to scare this guy? The face. Oh, man, the face? You do it, North. <laughs> That's for kids, man. I'll do it. Man, we must be bored doing this crap. Vinny, he ain't scared. Are you chippy, you knucklehead? Please, chippy! <laughs> Time to rock, Jock. <laughs> to ask me some questions. Scotty, go in and finish your breakfast. You've got school. Uh, OK. They think you killed Billy and Kate. Yeah, but they have no evidence. What are you going to do? I'm going in to teach. Now, come on, I want a cup of coffee. Talk to me, Jim. Why would they think such a thing? Because they're being made to think it. By whom? Please don't shut me out. We got through your last breakdown by talking things out. I don't want to talk it out, OK? I'm tired. I... I know. You haven't slept for more than three hours in the last four days. Look what you're doing to yourself. I feel as if I'm losing you. You're not losing me. I just I need a little more time, that's all. I just need some time to figure this thing out. Seems uh, another one of your students did disappear last night. Chip, I told you. Yeah, amazing. We'll let you know when we find something. Or you let us know when you remember something. Jimmy, you remember North here, don't you? He decided to come up and visit when Chip cashed in. Transferred up from Milford. Now we can finish unfinished business, Jimmy. You always wanted to be like your brother, didn't you, Jimmy? Yeah, dead. Very dead. Can't run away this time. Tonight's a big night, Jimmy. Don't tell us you don't remember today's anniversary. He probably forgets his wise. <laughs> Speaking of family, How's that kid of yours, Jimmy? I bet he's a chicken. Just like his old man. Find out. See you tonight, Jimmy boy. Be there, be square, man. Leave my family out of this. Hey, man, what are you doing? Oh, don't hurt us. It'd be cool, man.
And up to that level, you turn into a rocket. It's really cool. Well, anyways, see you guys later. God, he's okay. Some guys in a black car tried to hit him. The cops are out looking for them. Did anybody else see the car? No, just Scotty. Well, we'll get you inside, huh? Um, come on, get you cleaned up. Now, you don't have to sleep. I just want you to rest, okay? Here. It won't happen again, Scotty. I promise you. We're all gonna be fine, okay? You know, I have been saving something for you, and I wanted you to have it. I've just been waiting for the perfect time. This was given to me when I was your age. And that means a lot to me. I want you to have it. Thanks, Dad. It's cool. Looking good. some punks in my class and they're after me. They are the ones that tried to scare Scotty. That's what this is about. They're killers. They killed Billy, they killed Kate, and now they want me. Why would kids in your class want to kill you? They're the same guys that killed my brother. Oh. Jim, how do you expect me to respond to that? The boys who killed your brother are dead. They were killed by a train. You know that. How could they be alive? They're not. 27 years ago today, they killed Wayne, and now they came back for me. They told me they're going to play this whole thing out again. Look, I am not crazy. You've got to believe me. I want you to lock all the doors and windows, and don't let anybody in. find a policeman from about 20, 25 years ago. His name was Nell, Officer Nell. That'd be Bob Nell. Right, I, I gotta see him. It's very, very important. He hasn't been on the force in years. He got shot during a burglary call some years ago. Almost died, poor bastard. He's over in Smithfield now, in the retirement home. I, I gotta warn you, he's gone around the bend a bit. Ever since his accident, he 
thinks he sees dead people. Jimmy? Jimmy Norman. My God, you remember me. You look into a person's eyes, you always know who he is or was. I've been waiting for you, son. Hey, 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 slow it down. This is a residential area. Jimmy and Wayne Norman. You two were something else. Yes, sir, we were. Uh... I know this is going to sound crazy, but uh... those boys, the ones who killed Wayne, I think they're back again. I know. I, uh, I saw them. Saw who? Your brother Wayne. He needs you to settle it. Wayne? There was this, this routine burglary. Routine, except that I got shot in the head. The doctors said I was clinically dead for over three minutes. And that's when I saw him, Wayne, on the other side. He was waiting, stuck in that mid-realm, that dimension between here and one's final destination. Sometimes, son, they're in our hearts. Sometimes they're in our thoughts. But if they're unhappy enough, if something's left unsettled, sometimes they come back. Those punks told me they had transferred in from Milford. I checked. I can't find any Milford High. That's because it isn't a school. Welcome to Milford, Jimmy. Looking for Mueller, kid? You're gonna need him to put this all together. <laughs> Unless we find him first. So you better get going, Daddy-o. You don't have much time. Going down tonight, Jimmy! Tonight, Jimmy! <laughs> Looking for Carl Mueller. Who are you? Jimmy Norman. Wayne Norman's little brother. What do you want? Well, look at you. You're the man who punched my big brother and knocked him down on the ground and kicked him when he was defenseless, huh? Is this what happens to tough guys like you, huh? That thing was your brother was an accident. Hell, I almost got killed myself. I just got out right before the train hit. You coming with me? Hey, where you taking me, man? Go. Come on, get out. 
What is this? What are we doing here? We live in your past. Come on! No, no, don't you know? Your buddies are back. Lawson, Vinny, North. For every life they took, one of them came back. Seems they're here to finish up some old business, and we're part of the plan. You're crazy. Yeah. Hutch! I'm here with Mueller! I'm waiting for you! This is freaking crazy. You're nuts. I'm getting out of here. Mueller, come back here! You coward! Hello, Mrs. Norman. Can Jimmy come out and play? <laughs> what? What? Welcome to the neighborhood, Mrs. Norman. Hello, baby.
All right, come on. Come on, I'm not running this time. Good, then we'll see you there. We wanted to make sure you were coming, Jimmy. Bring the wife and kid. It's fun for the whole family. Oh! <laughs> Come on, let's go. Where are we gonna go? Someplace safe. Come on, come on. Get inside, come on. You and Scotty will be safe in here. My brother promised me. They were the ones who killed him, weren't they? Yeah. And my students. Why are they after you? Follow me no matter where I go. I can't keep running. I have to change what happened. And then after tonight, it'll all be over. Jim. I'm so sorry that I doubted you. I love you. I will come back. So you were the one who took them. What are you doing here, Mueller? I've been coming by this place for years. I used to park my car across the street at night and just look at the place. I watched it fall apart, just like me. I never meant anything to happen to your brother. You gotta believe me. My life's been hell since that day. I know it's crazy, but I believe what you say. I believe they're back. I guess somehow, I always knew they would be. So what do you want to do? I'm tired of being afraid. I'm not going to be afraid anymore. 
Let's do it. I bet Vinny here a whole nickel that your old clunker wouldn't burn rubber, Jimmy. But I was wrong. Everything burns. <laughs> what do you know? It's Mueller time. Is that you, Mueller? What are you doing, man? You belong with us, remember? Look at you. you used to be cool, man. I guess you tell your little belly turned yellow. My God. You got no. old. And ugly. You stink. We missed you, no, Mueller. You want to scramble with us? Just like old times, man. <laughs> Woo! The gang's all here. Everybody except for Wayne. He's a definite no-show. Sure as hell does. Going to the tunnel for old time's sake, Mueller. First, I thought we'd stop off at the old church and see some friends. Mom, mm. I'm hungry. Soon, when your father gets back. Did you light a candle for me? What are we waiting for? Go ahead. Yeah, you first, Einstein. I'll pay it. Please, please help me. Someone trying to come through. Hey, Mueller. Maybe it was your mama. Maybe it's your mama, North. <laughs>
Scott? Get here! Scott! You love your daddy, Scott. It's a nice kid you got here, Mrs. Norman. If you hurt him, I swear to God, I'll... Hey, come on, don't hurt the kid! Shut up, Mueller. <laughs> Don't you know, Sally, that nobody hits me and lives, huh? You're lucky I have a date tonight to keep. Otherwise, you and I might have a little fun of our own. Huh? Ow! It's time to wail, boys. <laughs> said, Jimmy, you got all the brains in the family. You're not going to go through the tunnel, are you? Sure. It's faster. insurance, Jimmy. We wanted to make sure you weren't going to chicken out on us this time. <laughs> How much money have you got? Twelve cents. Liar. You gonna run and tell on us? I'm not running anywhere. Good. Because we're gonna finish it this time. And you're gonna come with us. Get through this tunnel, you gotta pay. Get it? So how much money have you got? I told you 12 cents. Mueller, what the hell are you doing? Leave him alone. Benny, get this bum out before I smack him. they take, none of them can come back, right? We're gonna have company, boys. Now the gang's all here, Vinny. Leave us alone. Shut up. Shut up. You want to get through this tunnel, you got to pay, get it? We're not going back. No! There ain't no other way back except our way! I said, leave us alone. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
You ain't coming back this time, kid. Vinny, heads off! Man, nobody hits me. What the? There's no train running through here anymore. Run, Jimmy, run! Austin! Remember this? This is why you died. Jimmy? No, Jim's my dad. But that's my cap. I gave it to Jimmy. I know you did. But I gave it to my son. His name is Scott. He's named after our dad. I'm your brother, Wayne. I'm Jimmy. No, that can't be. Jimmy's my little brother. I'm still your little brother. My brother's nine years old. I grew up. It's been 27 years since. Since you died. I don't want to go back. Please, I want to stay. I was all alone there. I'd do anything to have you back again. To make up for all those lost years. You can't stay. Then come with me, Jimmy. Please, Jimmy. I need you with me. We're always gonna stick together, remember? Please try to understand. I can't go with you. I have a wife and a son, and I love them very much. Wayne, Jim loves you so much, but we need him here. Scotty needs him the same way that Jimmy needed you. I can't go with you, Wayne. But you won't be alone anymore. Now that this is over, you gotta go to a better place where Mom and Dad are waiting for you. I love you, Wayne. And you'll always be in my heart and in my thoughts. And one day, we'll be together again, I promise. Wait. 
you and me. We'll always stick together. you to hold on to these and don't lose them. What are they? Good luck coins. My big brother gave them to me. 